guys, um, so I'm back again today. It's been a couple weeks. I kind of needed to go away for a couple weeks. And the internet can be a bit much sometimes. I, uh, am I, I'm actually, my video today is a bit different than what I normally do. I've never done a video like this before, but I kind of felt compelled to do it. What I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to respond to uh, your comments. Specifically, the uh, not so nice ones, not all of them are going to be rude or mean or whatever the fuck. Some of them are going to be nice and I actually, because I wanted to respond to some of these really nice comments. Because I don't want to give all the attention to the assholes, I want to also be nice to the other people. I'm going to be responding to comments that were left under my season finale reaction video. Because again, there was just some comments that were left under there that I really, really want to respond to. Do you guys like my t-shirt, by the way? I'm going to try and show it to you. Can you see it? I really want you to be able to read it. Just, can you see it? Uh, in the words of Negan, Did I bring out my perfectly normal sized wiener and fuck orgasms into your girl Andrea until she ordered a t-shirt from the Negan's Cock fan club? That's like one of my favorite things he ever said. And it's on a fucking t-shirt now that I can wear. I've got a t-shirt from the Negan's Cock fan club, so you know what that means. Hey. I thought it was very fitting that I wore this shirt today, uh, considering the content of the video. And there's one in particular that I wanted to get to straight away, so let me find it. There it is. Okay. So, the first comment that I wanted to respond to is one that, um... I think this comment got the most likes out of all the ones on my season finale video, which actually worries me that this many people agreed with him. The first comment that I want to respond to is from Jared Plantully. I hope that's how you say it, Jared. I uh, don't want to butcher your name. I'm going to read his entire comment and then respond to everything he said because there's some shit in here that ain't fucking right, and I'm gonna fix it for you, Jared. Okay. So Jared says, That's sort of fucked up that you're on Team Negan. Uh, wonderful actor, fantastic villain and character, but I mean, ellipses, you seriously are rooting for him to kill a teenage kid? Question mark. Totally cool with him beating Glenn and Abe to death, cause ya what? Ellipses. Think he's hot? Question mark. Crazy stuff. Um, Jared, I'm gonna respond to you, okay? Uh, Alright, first part. That's sort of fucked up that you're on Team Negan. Um, now my only response to this, Jared, is how fucked up are we talking about here? When you say it's sort of fucked up, like, is it just a little bit fucked up or is it like super fucked up? Just genuinely curious by how fucked up sort of is. Like, how, how fucked up is it? Now the next part, uh, wonderful actor, fantastic villain, and character. Okay, so the first part there, wonderful actor, referring to Jeffrey, I'm, I'm not going to argue with you on that. It's completely true, yes, he is a wonderful actor, a fantastic actor. Great, mind-blowing, incredible, uh, who couldn't be better. Um, he's also a wonderful person, bonus. Yeah, no arguments on that, Jared. Um, fantastic villain and character. Okay, see this is the part when I was reading your comment where I kind of started to like... Kind of look at it a little bit sideways and like squint a little bit because you're basically calling me fucked up, right? That's generally what this comment is. You're calling me fucked up for uh, liking Negan. Um, and uh... But yet... Uh, you know, fantastic is a compliment. That's a really nice thing to say about somebody. And, um, so you calling Negan a fantastic villain and character is really nice, Jared. That's really nice to say about him. It kind of sounds to me like you like him too. So... Doesn't that make you fucked up too? You know, that's a really... I think Negan would really appreciate that if you you know, said he was fantastic. He loved that. Um, so, I I'm getting the vibe that you like Negan too, so what, what exactly is the difference between you liking Negan and me liking him? 
Um, which I see what you think the difference is. You think that I like him because he's hot. Um, we'll get to that. Jared, it's, it, it's it kind of, it's starting to sound a little bit hypocritical. I'm just saying. You seriously are rooting for him to kill a teenage kid? Question mark. Now, Jared, um, this is where I just started to ignore anything you had to say after this because um, I don't know if you watched the video or not, but at the part where he's about to hit Carl, I'm not rooting for him to do anything. I can literally show you. It's right here. Let me just go to the video. Wait for it. Wait for it. There he goes. There he goes. Now, is that rooting? Is that fucking rooting? Did I root? Did I root for him to kill anybody? Was that, is that what rooting looks like to you, Jared? Is this what rooting looks like? Because I, I don't, I hate to say it, Jared, but I really don't, I don't see it. Carl is one of my favorite characters. Why in the fucking hell would I want Negan to kill him? You know, I t no, Jared, I was not rooting for him to kill anybody. There was at no point in this, listen, the only time I rooted for Negan to kill anybody was when he killed Spencer, and we all were rooting for him to kill him. Don't act like you wasn't, okay? Uh, no, Jared, that was a flat-out lie. I did not root for him to kill anybody. Uh, okay, totally cool with him beating Glenn slash Abe to death, because you what? Think he's hot? Uh, crazy stuff. Again, totally not cool with what he did. Uh, Jared, I don't know if you watched my season premiere video, but I literally sobbed, uh, and I think the words, <laughs> Negan, what, left my mouth at some point. Again, no, totally not cool with him killing, okay, listen, I'll be fair to you, Jared, I didn't really care so much for Abe, just because he's not one of my favorite characters, and I, you know, wasn't really attached to him like that. I was bummed that he died. I, I didn't, like, cry my eyes out, no, just because I'm not attached to him. Glenn, however, was one of my favorite characters, and I was just as upset watching it happen in the show as I was when I read it in the comics, okay? I was highly upset by that, and I was totally not cool with Negan killing him. Whatever helps you sleep at night, Jared. Whatever helps you sleep at night. Uh, and uh, to that last part, because you know what? Think he's hot? Listen, y'all, it is no fucking secret that I think Negan is honestly the hottest thing that's ever walked this earth. We all know that, okay? We all know that I think that man is, like, literally invented good-looking, you know? It, we all know this, okay? I, I don't make it a secret. What the fuck do you want? My phone's going off. I'm, it's no secret that I think that Negan is attractive, that I want to be one of the wives, that I want to do things with him, you know? I, I don't try to be secretive about it. Yes, I am attracted to Negan. But you know what, Jared? It's not why I like Negan. It's just one of the many reasons. It's like the icing on the cake that is Negan. This is the thing, you all. I really relate to Negan. I think we have a lot in common. Our personality, our sense of humor. We both have a fucking potty mouth like there's no fucking tomorrow. You know, I just have a lot in common with Negan. And I really like him a lot just because of, you know, his personality. His personality is fucking amazing, and if you, you, I mean, you're just lying if you say it's not. I mean, Negan's sense of humor and his personality is fucking top notch. It's great. I'm reading the backstory. Um, and so I, 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 I get Negan, you know what I mean? And like, I, I, I just really, I really love his character, okay? I really do. Genuinely really love him, and not because of what his face looks like. Like I said, his base is just a bonus. It's just a fucking icing on the cake. Is it a part of it? Yeah, but it's not the main reason why. It's not even like the top five reasons why. It's just one of the reasons why. But I find most, and especially in like comic book fandoms and shit like that, women never get taken seriously and we always get accused of just liking characters because we think they're hot and we're attracted to them. We don't really know them. Jared, I'm sure I know a hell of a lot more about Negan than you do. What do you want to bet? But, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, that comment kind of rubbed me the wrong way. And I don't like to be rubbed the wrong way. Uh, but thank you for your input, Jared. I do appreciate it very much. Can you tell how much I appreciate it? Yeah. Okay, and another one of those comments, um, kind of sort of along the same line, only this one... I think I'm even more offended by. Um, this one is from the Infected Hunter. <laughs> now this comment really just like, I don't even know what to say to this one. The first sentence that they write. Before I say anything else, I know this is just a TV show and you can't compare these characters to real people. But guess what, ladies and gents? 
you know what the infected hunter goes on to do? He goes on to compare a TV show and the characters in it to real people. So he does, he, she, it, whatever, this person, they go on to do in their comment what they said that they can't do. Okay, here's the rest. But your fascination for Negan and rooting for him to live. Because he's hot. There we go again. There we go again. Because he's hot. Okay. Um, just reminds me of these crazy girls who act like they're in love with the Columbine shooters. Um, specifically Eric Harris because they think he's hot. Um, now again, here we go with the just because you think he's hot shit. Um, the infected hunter again. Thank you for the input. Not really. I don't appreciate this one bit. Now you just said in your comment, before I say anything else, I know this is just a T- This is just a TV show and you can't compare these characters to real people. But yet, bitch, that's what you go on to do. You go on to compare Negan to the Columbine shooters of all people. Of all the serial killers you could have picked, you picked the Columbine dudes for real? Out of all the ones you could have picked, you picked them? Yeah, um, just, and also, by the way, everybody, I have not at any point in my life been attracted to or liked any serial killer. I'm not even one of these people that's fascinated by them and wants to have coffee with, like, you know those videos that people do where they're like, I want to have coffee with a serial killer. Bitch, why the fuck would you ever want to have coffee with a serial killer? I'd be sitting there in front of them pissing my fucking pants because I'm thinking that they're plotting my own death in their head. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. What's wrong with you people? See, you, this is what people keep saying there's something wrong with me. What's wrong with you all, okay? And I'm not saying like you specifically, but there's literally people that want to do that. Like, why would you ever? Why would you ever? I have never in my life wanted to have coffee with a serial killer, wanted to fuck a serial killer, wanted to like have a nice conversation with one. Never, okay? So you all comparing me to these girls that are obsessed with serial killers, don't. Rule, okay, rule number one, fucking, are you listening to me? Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. Because, um, not true. I, no. Why would you, why the fuck? I don't get, I really don't get where this shit comes from. I really don't. Okay, just no. This, 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 this entire comment, just no. This person accused me of all, you know, said all this stuff and basically said that I only like Negan because I think he's hot. And we already covered that with Jared. It's not because he's hot. Is it part of it? Yes, okay? That's how the human mind and body works. I'm attracted to Negan, okay? I can't help that. It's just my brain sees Negan and it's like, hello, uh, would you like to spend some time alone? I can't help that. That's just my body's natural response to, I can't help it. When Negan looks aesthetically what my ideal man looks like, how am I, what am I supposed to do about that? I can't help but be attracted to him. Like, what? fuck off. That's not my fault. Whatever. I don't even want to, like, read that comment anymore. Like, let's just get away from it, because I'm getting annoyed. The next comment is not a rude one. Um, it's actually one that I just wanted to talk about, because I feel like this comment was pretty spot on. Um, at least with my channel as of the last year or so. Um, and this comment is from Lucille, first of her name, Queen of the Saviors. A plus. Fucking great name. Um, and, uh, Lucille, first of her name, Queen of the Saviors, says, Damn! Uh, <laughs> comment sections of this channel are usually so sad and pitiful considering the content. Um, a lot of thirsty basement dwellers with their redundant horny comments, a bunch of retards, I'm gonna use the word idiots, um, a bunch of idiots hating on her for liking a fictional character, and just a small portion of people that actually like to see someone that shares a passion for the show. Uh, keep it up despite everything. First of all, Lucille, thank you. I have to say, I do agree with this comment. Um, the comment section of my channel uh, has shifted and turned into something different. Back when I first started doing these videos, and kind of the first year and a half of doing it, um, mainly the comment section was just us talking about the show, which was, you know, kind of always the point. I'd get the uh, horny comment every now and again, but, um, you know, it wasn't something that happened all the time. I, I, I don't know, I think, and I think particularly as well, this, this past season it's been like through the roof because my um, season premiere video did get um, 
over half a million views now. And a lot of people have seen it, and a lot of people came to my channel because of it. And, you know, when a lot of people, when a big majority of people become aware of you, of course things are going to happen. And um, I think a, a lot of... A, a, listen, I don't know if you all know this or not, but, like, the percentage of my viewers, uh, male to female, is, like, there's, like, 80% male and, like more than that like uh, like it's only like it's less than 20 percent female now like majority of the people that watch my videos are male um which is fine um and most of the time you know the comments are really nice you know people commenting to me just telling me that I, I looked nice or i look pretty or whatever um those are fine i don't mind those one bit that's perfectly fine with me but there's some comments that are just so disgusting um and it has nothing to do with anything and i did i actually got slut shamed by multiple people um, in the comments of this video, even though, um, and, I, I, and I think it's solely because of what I wore in the video. I wore a harness, um, a black leather harness, and people, like, they totally, like, took that for, they took that way too seriously. Like, you all, I've literally worn that exact outfit out in public multiple times. Like, I don't mean anything by it, and I didn't wear it just to try to get attention from dudes on, you know, in the video. I have literally worn that out in public because I like it. It's my style, you know? It's like, and people, like, there was somebody that said that I had changed and I was trying to be more sexual and kind of feed into that whole thing. And it's like, no, it's, it's just how I dress. It's, you know, it's just, this, you know, it's just me. Which is funny, she was kind of using... She, I guess it was a woman, um, she was using like the feminist approach, but yet she was attacking me and slut shaming me at the same time. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, cause it's just like, isn't that like the opposite of a feminist though? Like you're literally attacking me for how I'm dressing and shit and, uh, being open about sexuality and you're attacking me for it. Doesn't really work, I don't think. But of course the, um, a, a bunch of idiots hating on me for liking a character. Yeah, you know, that's true as well, obviously. We've seen that firsthand from Jared and the Infected Hunter. Um, and a small portion of people that actually like to see someone that shares a passion for the show. I don't think that it's small, but I think that, you know, there a lot. I there used to be a lot of people, a lot of my regulars that don't really come around anymore. I don't know where they went. I hope they didn't leave. Um, and I'm really sorry, you guys, I, but I mean, I, I can't control the comments, you know, and like what people comment. I have no control over that, um, and I'm sorry if people think that it's turned into something, you know, uh, that they don't like. I'm sorry, but, you know, I can't do, I can't do anything about that. Um, this is another nice comment that I wanted to respond to. This comment is from, uh, actually one of my fellow reactors here on YouTube, um, by the name of John Wu, and, um, I really like what he said, and I wanted to... Um, read it out for you all and then kind of respond to it as well. So John said, I love that you root for what you root for, which is the way it should be. Uh, great reaction. I'm gonna read that one more time, okay? Ready? I love that you root for what you root for, which is the way that it should be. Thank you, John. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, and I told you, I replied to you and told you that I appreciated it. Um, I love this comment because I really wish that other people saw this shit the way that John does. Um, that would be really great. Because it is a, a fictional TV show and we should be able to be on who, whoever side that we want to be. Marley Mouse said, wow, this bitch, lol. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, Marley, I am that bitch. I am that bitch and I am proud of it. Thank you very much. Again, this one's not a uh, mean one, it's just a comment that I wanted to read. Uh, Aw, Shady, haha, uh, -ha, you say you love Rick and you love Negan. You say you're Team Negan, but we see here that your heart is also Team Rick. That must be eating you up so fucking hard. Um, did I say who that was from? That's from Mona Clutterbuck. <laughs> great name, Mona. Uh, yeah, I'm, you all, it's like I said, it's like... You know what this war is for me? It's there's like Rick and his group on one side holding this arm, Negan on the other side holding this one, and they are just pulling, bitch. They're fucking pulling me in half. And it it sucks. It really does, you all, because I do I love Rick so much. I always have and I always will. I love Rick. I love Michonne. I love Carl. I 
love them. And, but I also love Negan. And yeah, it's fucking torture for me. It fucking sucks. That's all I'm gonna do for today. I literally scream for like 15 minutes at Jared and the infected hunter. I'm gonna go. I just wanted to, really quickly though, before I left, um, I wanted to say a few things. And I also wanted to kind of give a little bit of an update just in terms of like uploads and stuff for the hiatus. Um, if you all liked this style of video, me reading and responding to comments, um, I am very open to doing it again uh, in the future if you would like me to. Again, I do like to hear feedback from you all because if you don't like it, you're not going to watch it, so then what's the point of me doing it, right? And uh, also, uh, upload-wise, I did want to give some updates because there's going to be a lot going on with me, at least for the next couple of months. Um, I am moving. Um, I'm moving houses. I'm moving away from here and I'm moving into a new place. I don't know when exactly the people that um, are currently living in it haven't moved out yet. So whenever they leave is when I can move in. So yeah, um, I'm going to be moving and um, so that's going to be a little bit of a thing going on. Um, I do, in terms of like uh, content though, during the hiatus, I did want to get back to doing my comic reviews again. I know I keep saying that and I still haven't done it. I'm sorry. Um, but I really am going to get back to doing that. Now that I don't have to worry about all this other shit, I'm, I'll have plenty of time to get back into that again. Um, so I want to go back to doing my comic reviews. I want to, I'd like to do some stuff with the Negan backstory as well. Um, maybe do some videos on that. I also, uh, I know that a lot of people really like my vlogs and uh, if you do as well, please let me know again. I would like to hear a lot of feedback from you guys in the comment section of this video just so I can know what to do over the next few months. There's going to be some things coming up um, in the next couple of months that could be vlogs, could be fun, you know, I could, you know, um, that I could vlog and it would be fun for people. I'll probably do that anyway, but even if, you know, just let me know though. If you'd like me to continue the vlogs, I'll definitely do those. Um, I want to do another Q&A. Um, that will probably be one of the things I do next. Um, so probably the next video you see from me will be um, a video alerting you to a new Q&A, which will be where you will leave all your questions for me. Expect that at least within the next couple of weeks. So, you know, be thinking of questions you might want to ask and comic reviews of all different sorts, vlogs, um, anything you would like me to do as well. I'm always open to requests, so if you have any requests for me, Feel free, again, to leave them in the comment section and I will definitely get to them. Um, thank you all so much for watching and spending some time with me today, even if I was kind of angry for some of it. So I hope that you all uh, enjoyed it and I will definitely see you very, very soon. So until the next one, I am Officer Friendly, over and out. Here I come again, Wee.